Do you know which body parts pirates enjoy the most? Is it the boobus, the PP, the buttocks? <laughs> it's obviously the booty. Well, now that the standard for the video is set, good evening, ladies, lasses, and lasses, and welcome to the click. You look astounding today, and don't let anyone else tell you otherwise. You are a horrendous liar. So today we're going to do something beautiful. We're going to get r slash confidently incorrect, which is going to be a beautiful video. I have collected beautiful posts for you, beautiful beans, and we're even going to have some Click Academy scattered throughout this video. So, oh my God, if your parents complain about you watching Click, you say it's educational, mom. It's, it's learning. So, um, enjoy. Patriotic red, white, and blue pretzel twist. Freshness guarantee. Look at that. But it's also the trans flag. The real deal. Happy Pride Month, you beautiful bean. Enjoy your, <laughs> your like, confidently incorrect pretzels. But they look beautiful. I prefer this, okay? It's nice. <laughs> I don't see why people need them pronouns. Are you cis? No, I'm normal, Lamau. Oh, I see. Trans is the new norm. <laughs> oh my god, the Confucians are just dashing. Right, for if there weren't enslaved, they would still be in Africa with no wealth. Oh my god, I don't like where this is going at all. So thanks for agreeing with current blacks and benefiting off of slavery. Otherwise, they would have never been born here. Oh, <laughs> A poo -poo. This dumb butt probably thinks all people in Africa are still running around with spears and loincloths, whereas there is rapidly growing middle class in countries like Kenya, Botswana, and Ghana. <laughs> Shh, he'll even think that it's one of that went home after the world-class U.S. education that started the infrastructure, but cause you know nothing happens without the Merca! Slash S. Oh my god, the- <laughs> What are- <laughs> Oh, the internet, you are so beautiful in so many ways, and you also are very stinky in so many ways. Unbelievable! The human body can only endure 45 units of pain. What is a unit of pain? Is this a, is this thing that actually exists? Let me Google this. <laughs> unit of pain. A dolorimeter is an instrument used to measure pain threshold and pain tolerance. But at birth, a woman can endure up to 57 units of pain. So they endure, okay, equivalent of 20 fractures at a time. Never tell a woman she can't. Remember that she only could dance with two hearts and breathe with four lungs. Only that she could carry the weight of two worlds in her stomach and give life to the world. Don't say she's not capable. She's capable of everything. I mean, it's kind of like a sweet message, but I, I think the message would hit harder if you didn't bake in the pseudoscientific mababajig in the middle of it. You can just say, like, being prego is really tough, giving birth is really tough, hashtag respect. <laughs> you could leave it there. <laughs> it's fine. Plain water doesn't hydrate us, never has and never will. People will fight this information like I fought it when I first heard it, and not until trying it out for myself did I learn. Drinking plain water will never hydrate you, so drinking four liters a day is just four times the amount of still no hydrating your body. And don't throw medical crap or science at me, please. Test it for yourself. <laughs> Don't disagree with me, only post if you agree with me. That's how we prove that this is real. Peer review is only patting on the back. Eat your hydration, don't think you get it from water. But what if you freeze the water, like I really neutral ice cream? People might call this sh**ty wook advice again. I thought it was cray cray until I tested it and realized it's the truth, smiley. <laughs> ice cream is more hydrating to your body than drinking a glass of plain water. Okay, have fun. It depends on the sweetness on the ice cream, I suppose. You could make the argument that, you know, hydration lasts longer if it's inside different foods because it stays longer in your body and it's slowly digested instead of just running through and peeing it out right away. So, sure, but I don't think that's the point that's being made. <laughs> It's still water. <laughs> Dear God, man. Hold on one second. Hold on one second. Oh God, we got some drama in the online lobbies. What? Where the fuck is my? Shit? Oh dear. Wait, what? Where the fuck is my? Shit? Where is all of my stuff? My place is until the end of February. Are you sure you're in the right room? Yes, I'm sure I'm in the right room. I like how chilled the dude is. What floor was it on? This one. This is my. How did you even have access to the room though? Like how did she get in? I would be so flabbergasted if someone just came into my my room all of a sudden and be like, I live where's my stuff? 
Uh, probably not here. What? A bat and a ball are $1.10. And the bat is $1 more than the ball. How much is the ball? How the hell did you get the second ball? <laughs> there is simple word incomplete at price 1.1, and then the bat is a dollar more simple math. 1 plus 1.1 1 .1 is 1.1. 1 .1. So by fact, a bat costs 1, the ball is 0 0.1. Simple as that. Maybe in the USA you got teached the other way. Teached. <laughs> well, then the bat would only be 0 0.9 times more expensive, wouldn't it? Then it's time for Click Academy to learn the moves. So welcome everyone to Click Academy. Click a a ca Academy. So today we're gonna do an absolutely beautiful question. So the premise of this question is the bat plus the ball costs $1.1. And we can just denounce it as the bat as X and the ball as Y equals to 1.1, right? Absolutely beautiful. The second equation we are specified in this is that the bat costs $1 more than the ball, which means that the bat as we have as X is going to be equal to one plus Y right? Because it's one dollar more expensive than the ball. So how do we solve this? Well, the rule of math is that you can solve basically one variable per line of equation. So the nice little trick here is to put this x into this one, which is of course this part of the equation. So this means that if we rewrite the first equation with the x put into this, means we actually get one plus y plus y again equals 1.1. Simplify this bad boy, and you are gonna get eventually 2y equals 0 0.1. Which means that y, which is the cost of the ball, is 0 0.05. That's a pretty affordable ball. Heck yeah. Okay, so now we just put this y into the initial equation or something. We have here, for example, it's probably easiest. Which means that x is going to be 1 plus 0 0.05, which is 1.05. Five. Absolutely beautiful. And do we check the premise of this? Yeah, it looks like the bat is indeed one dollar more expensive than the ball, and combined they are 1.1 expensive. Thank you so much for showing up to Click Academy where I do weird things in paint. Moving on, I can do this professionally. I am doing this profession, I get paid for this. <laughs> I get paid for doing like, I don't know, ninth grade math in paint. <laughs> Frick yeah. A big surprise! The corrupt CIA won't release race crime data this year. I wonder why, funky smileys. Want some facts? <laughs> I bet you do. Whites average the top 90% of intelligence. I've shown mine. Blacks, not so much. <laughs> Ooh, we got a little bit of spicy racism in here. See where this is going. So we work and they steal. Oh, that's, that's, yeah, that's a, that's a conclusion if I've ever seen one. Ooh. The corrupt international agency CIA will never tell you. All right, let's check out what this genius has to show us with their IQ. Results, your IQ is 80. <laughs> your IQ is in the top 90, okay. So you, you don't know how to read a bell graph. You, you just read it backwards and, and assume you're, you're, you're in the top. Dear fuck, dear God. Here's the thing, as I usually say, IQ is a heavily debated measure of intelligence. It's far from like a overall good measure of intelligence. It can give you an inkling of certain things and it has correlations, but it's not a perfect measure of intelligence, right? But I will say that you probably don't know how statistics works, especially when it comes to complex things like income and socioeconomic stuff, when you don't even know how to read a basic bell curve. Cease. NASA is just Satan minus the T. That's why they say T minus when they, when they blast off. <laughs> what is what is this conclusion? Oh my god! The rockets are also fueled by hellfire. How else do you explain that no other fires fly? Huh? D explain that, s s NASA or Satan? <laughs> How do we become the dominant species on this planet? We landed on the moon and created the internet just for, for, for this to happen. Good old TikTok comments. Hell yeah, baby. If you think it's hard being part of the LGBT, try being a gun owner after a mass pew pew. Th this is a really, oh my god, yeah. Try being part of the LGBT after a mass gaying. How about that? Oh, the struggles. Men, never allow your woman to call you baby or bae. She either calls you by your name or daddy. She is your first born daughter. Wait, wait, what? Either you have some really weird conceptions about relationships or your relationships are very... I uh, keep in the family, yeehaw! The most accurate version should be sir or my lord. Ah, my lord daddy. <laughs> oh, daddy lord. Mm, this is... 
Yeah. That is what we find in the Bobo. But I agree, your wife is your firstborn daughter. What on earth are you talking about? What is... N n no? I mean, I, I, maybe I'm speaking for myself here. Relationships are subjective after all, but I much rather prefer to have a partner who's like a teammate, you know? It's someone... It's, it's another adult. Why are you, like, <laughs> baking in this weird roleplay that you're... No! Cease! Thousands all month being bussed from Del Rio border to America with legal documents this morning! Y yeah? People are crossing borders with legal documents. What? <laughs> How is this? <laughs> What's your point? Spot on a post from a pastor trying to explain why pride parades are wrong. Ooh, this is gonna be spicy, isn't it? Actually, what you all do in the bedroom is destroying our nation. Population numbers are going down. The coming generation won't be able to sustain itself. It doesn't produce kids or anything productive for society. The only reason you say it doesn't affect us is because you don't think or care about us. Sodomy, speaking by experience, is the epitome of selfishness and the hatred towards God. You hear that? Having the notice for, for fun or just like being with someone you love is horrible because we need to poop out more babies into this overpopulated world. That is the number one priority of everything. <laughs> Thank you, Pastor. Um, I'm, I'm gonna <laughs> pretend I didn't hear that. Moving on. Over 10,000 cattle have died in Kansas apparently to a heat wave, which us woke people know this is not true. Gates is making a peach tree dish meat and owns a huge portion of farms in the US. So he is heating up the cows to burn them into steaks and Bill Gates wants you to eat the burgers. So then you can't eat the bur- and cows are not real. Women will literally take a mountain of pills a day and go to m therapy instead of settling down and raising a family. Do you guys really think that settling down and having a kid is gonna make all the mental health issues go away? Removing the access to the internet will be an even quicker way to make them go away. I mean, sure, there are mental health issues with the internet. There are, for example, many studies out there that show correlation with increased uh, social media usage and a poorer self-image or more likelihood for depression and all these kind of things. So yes, yeah, social media does have an impact, but it's not this kind of do-all, end-all that, that this kind of stuff makes it up to be. Mental issues exist in all forms and by over-focusing on a small side of it and pretending it's the entire thing and saying, oh, if you just remove a freaking Instagram, then everyone is going to be super happy. It's like, no, nah, I agree with using Instagram less. But that's not going to be a magic fix at all for everything. It's the equivalent of saying, like, going on nice walks and getting fresh air and sunshine is, like, good for your health. Which is, yeah, it definitely is most of the time. But it's not like a magic cure for every ailment you're ever going to have. It's kind of a similar thing. One thing that might affect certain parts of your life isn't a magic fix it all, do it all. <laughs> and also having a kid. I mean, if you're already... Oh my god, no. This is so bad. Please don't. Jesus Christ. I don't think the advice you're already struggling with things in life, settle down and put more pressure on yourself, is, is the right call. I hope you reached a point where it's doable. Everyone should strive towards being happy and doing what they want to do, but... I don't know, this is this is weird. This is really weird. Leftists, you can't not have pronouns. Everyone has pronouns. Also leftists, I am asexual. <laughs> please, sir, please. I'm here in this video today to go on like funny scientific rants about flat earth and stuff. Not, <laughs> I don't even know how to respond to this. You have to accept the fact that the government totally wants to s provide surveillance on every part of your life. I they mean, want to know when so, you're eating. So they want sure. to know if you're eating a cheeseburger, which is very bad because Bill Gates wants you to eat his fake meat that grows in a peach tree dish. So you'll probably oh, get a little zap inside your body and that's say, no, no, don't eat a real cheeseburger. You need to eat the fake, the fake burger, the fake meat from Bill Gates. Um, they probably also want to know when you go to the bathroom and if your uh, bowel movements are are on time or consistent. I mean, what else do these people want to know? Okay, we went from like, sure, government surveillance is, is a real thing. Like surveillance in general and keeping your data safe and that kind of stuff. Sure, that's that's just the modern world. It's it's the downside of living in the digitalized world we do. As That's not something so far-fetched. But I don't understand why, why someone would place like, please swallow this microchip so we can track your gases. That's a bit of a stretch. <laughs> I can't find a source, but I know there have been cases where a man has naughties with one woman, but then goes and have naughties with another woman before showering, and some of the first woman's eggs are still on his pee pee. They can implant into the second woman who can carry the first woman's child. It is the same idea as medical egg donors. What on? Oh, uh, yes, indeed. Source? 
Trust me, girl. Any bacteria, virus, or parasite that is smaller than one inch is not going to do anything to your body. You know, an inch is like two and a half centimeters, right? Pretty big bacteria. Almost like a pet. <laughs> I want my little COVID in a little leash. You know, like those people that have like a leash and a little bumblebee? Imagine that, but with, with a giant COVID. <laughs> God, so gross. I support free speech, not just hate speech. I support physics, just not gravity. Gravity, as described today, is actually not supported by any real science. Just saying, what do you mean real science? <laughs> what do you mean not support? I feel like people toss around stuff like it's just a theory, which I, I think when you transfer it to layman terms is very confusing. For something to be a scientific theory means that it's very, very serious. A pretty good way of putting it is that we will never have a perfect understanding of the universe, or probably never. We keep changing it. You know, the theory of gravity is called a theory, for example, because it's gone through multiple iterations. For example, Newton's theory of gravity was the first one that was developed, and it works perfectly fine. If you look at, for example, the gravitational force of the Earth, or you want to look at the gravitational movements of the planets in the solar system, etc., Etc. But then there are instances in the universe where this breaks down, where this version is obviously simplified. It works in 99% of the cases, but sometimes it doesn't work. And that's when Einstein came along and said, hippity hoppity, relativity in your property. And that's the best theory of gravity we have so far. And scientists are working constantly to see if we can find instances where this breaks down and find a better translation of how the universe works. This is why it's called a theory. So, so, so maybe that's the point here. I don't know, but... Uh, yes. <laughs> Georgia isn't a country, it's a state. Liberal brain made this. You do realize Georgia is a state and a country, right? Two different places. Lol, <laughs> from home country, United States of America. I know my states. It's in the name. <laughs> Check mates. <laughs> A QAnon star who said only idiots get vaccinated and called for Dr. Fossey to be executed has died of COVID. <sighs> that is so horrible, but it's also so... <sighs> it's so... St it's so stupid, man. I am unvacked. I had dinner with two fully vacked friends at their house. While eating, itchy rash appeared on my left rib cage. S got so much worse. I went to the doctor and he confirmed shingles. Their shedding spike protein woke my dormant shingles. Be careful who you spend time with. Oh, so you think that your, but with your friends at dinner, their proteins from the vaccine or something like that triggered your... Your sickness? Here's the thing, even entertaining it for a second, even if that would be possible, I don't think the incubation time would be that short. <laughs> I mean, there are so many things that are just whack here. A little science lesson for the hashtag idiots at a global warming conference. Look here, we have iceberg and ocean, and then the iceberg melts and the ocean remains the same. You can do this experiment yourself with a glass of water and ice. Why, why are they pushing this? It's such a conspiracy. It's almost like, you know, in real life, all the ice isn't necessarily just, you know, floating in the water. It's like on top of landmass and mountains. You can literally look at pictures of Google where you see where the ice has melted over the past hundred years. And like, you know, there's land there now. So the ice wasn't floating, which means it's going to add on top of the water instead of just replacing the water the ice was pushing away in the first place. What third grade children in China are learning? Ooh, is that, is that loss of regression? I think so. Correct me if I'm wrong. I haven't done this in a while, but it looks familiar. What third grade children in India are learning? Well, I never did chemistry, but it looks complicated. What third grade children in the United States are learning? Prego men plus uh, racial people equals genders. Oh, how tragedy. How, why aren't we learning regression to people? The kids that are like, nine? <laughs> <laughs> what? And, ju and just to be like a little bit of a devil's advocate, one thing doesn't exclude the other. We can teach kids about like, hey, love comes in different shapes and forms, and that's nice. And we can also have, you know, an, a normal classic education program. They're not exclusive. I would even argue that it's good to teach the, you know, the, the relationship thing first because it teaches acceptance. More people are allowed to thrive in society, which is better for both the individuals and for the society as a whole. Like, what... <laughs> Uh, the idea that cavalry will be replaced by these iron coaches is absurd, British Field Marshal, 1916. <laughs> Ah, yes indeed. All right, let's see what do we have here. We have a machine that draws. Oh, nice, a tic-tac-toe machine. Oh, this is badass. Okay, so we start with an X here. Just put a little circle here, an X here. Machine puts circle there. That wasn't smart machine, you're stuck now. Well, it's really thinking outside the box, isn't it? 
<laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I can only imagine the faces of the people that built this. They're like, what? <laughs> what? That's the thing though, it's still America's fault. If they never dropped those two nuclear bombs, Japan would never have attacked Pearl Harbor. America could have just stayed out of it, but of course they intervene in everything. But you got the you got the timeline back. It's, uh, it's very easy to look up, fam. Elon Musk net worth, $215 billion in 2022. You can afford to pay everyone on the planet a billion dollars. Missed, uh, missed a few zeros there, but he's got the spirit. A ball always has two sides. The side you see and the side you do not see. Uh, isn't that literally every single object? Though? Okay. So why does the Google Earth ball have three sides? What do you mean three sides? <laughs> Maybe it's because the globe does not exist, because if it really existed, it would be very simple to make an accurate representation. <laughs> but you you can put a ball at any angle and look at it from any angle. What on earth, literally, are you talking about? There is this old comedy show in Sweden that is like a radio thing where a child has written an essay about a cow, you know, like a five-year-old kid or something. And the essay goes something like, a cow has seven sides. The, the front side, the back side, the upside, the underside, uh, the inside, the outside, and uh, the diagonal side or something. I don't know. It's something like it's super funny. <laughs> this really reminds me of that. Oh, it's so good. A newspaper in Bangladesh used photos of Dustin and Lucas from Stranger Things as pictures of footballers Samuel and Antone being friends since childhood. <laughs> when you don't have any other pictures, you just snag them from a show. I wonder genuinely if this was a mistake if it was on purpose, or if it's a prank. I can't tell which one, but it's pretty funny either way. Guys, well, you know how oh, you it's this again. Jerry Nadler and the Democrats and Joe uh, Biden uh, and Kamala right, Harris and AOC and, and all these people telling you that the most dangerous terrorist or domestic terrorists in America are white supremacists, obviously. Okay, but yeah. here's what you need to know. I think some of the most dangerous people in America are trans terrorists. Trans, 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 terrorist, terrorist, What is a trans terrorist? What do you mean? <laughs> I can't take this stuff seriously, man. It's, it's so funny. Oh my god. It's sad. It's really sad that this is the state of, like, the, the discussions regarding this, but... Oh, it's, I, I, it's, it doesn't feel real. I, I, god damn it, dude. Ah. Oh. Show me in the Bible where Jesus says anything about homosexuality. Here's a bunch of chapters. Uh, two things. One is the one who asked the question, not me. Number two, the question was specifically about what Jesus said about homosexuality. If you're unsure what Jesus said about the subject, you should get one of those red letter Bibles, which prints everything Jesus said in red ink. Jesus never speaks in any of these verses you cited. Certainly not in the Old Testament books, and very few New Testaments you cited are Paul's words, not Jesus. I'll give you some points for trying, but you definitely lose some attention for detail. And even just using books that are quite old for like modern discussion and solution like religion has its values for sure but using it as a definitive source for modern debates when it comes to certain things and assuming that we haven't learned anything in the past couple of thousand years is, uh, meh from conception to adulthood the seed is literally the brain and spinal cord <laughs> what see if you if you sized up a, li a, li a little swimmy cell it would, it would just be a human skull, like a spy, like like a snake <laughs> with a spine. This is some horror movie stuff. Oh my god, this would be terrifying. I would love to see a horror game with this guy. Can you imagine just human skulls with with the spines crawling around like snakes and hissing at you? Yes. God did not create evil. Evil was created by Satine. God is good. God cannot create evil. Only evil creates evil. You need to study the scriptures. I need to study? Okay, are you sure God didn't create evil? Maybe you're the one who needs to study. <laughs> Trust me, I know the scriptures. Went to church every Sunday. God did not create evil. Asaya, I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. <laughs> you're taking that out of context. <laughs> I mean, unless the next line is just Jake K J K. It was a prank, bro. There isn't much more to be added to this in forms of context. <laughs> Good old theoretic science. Gravity is just a fairy tale with zero experiments to prove its actual existence. How do mosquitoes fly if there's a strong force holding everything down? Why is it when you fill a balloon with 50% helium and 50% oxygen, it still floats? Some forms of rain clouds are so heavy if they landed on us, we would die or get seriously hurt. How does those clouds stay in the air if gravity pulls everything down? Seems like my approach is way more scientific and repeatable in experiments. <laughs> you know the laws of science, not theory. <laughs> click, 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 click
Academy time, booyah! Well, good evening, ladies, lasses, and lazos. Welcome to Click Academy. Our first experiment of the day is to show that you can indeed do repeatable experiments that demonstrate gravity. Cool. Now moving on to the next one. All right, ladies, lads, and lasses, welcome to Click Academy. So today we are going to look at some beautiful science together. The first problem is if we have a mosquito with wings like this, and it has little eyes, of course, because it's a mosquito and it's very happy. So if this thing is flying and we have a gravitational pull down here, how on earth can it actually fly? Well, what a mystery. So let's figure it out together. The force of gravity is equal to g, which is a gravitational constant, uh, 9.90. One, I think, on Earth or something like that. Feel free to roast me in the comments. And then we have mass 1 and mass 2, which are the masses of the two objects we're comparing gravity between. So in this case, mass 1 would be the Earth and mass 2 would be the, the mosquito. And then we divide this by the radius qu squared, basically the distance between the two bodies of mass. So in this case, if the M2, which is the mosquito's mass, is kind of tiny, the whole F is going to be kind of tiny too. Makes sense, right? Multiply by M2, tiny ass mosquito, tiny ass gravity. Which means that for the mosquito to be able to fly, the force upwards when it's flapping its fat little wings has to be at least F as well. Which, of course, counting that air actually has a certain density and that kind of stuff, it doesn't take too much flapping to make up for this when the M2 is very tiny, right? So, so the fact that a mosquito can fly despite there being a force downwards isn't particularly far-fetched. Why is it when you fill a balloon with 50% helium and 50% oxygen, it's still floats. Well, if you do indeed have a balloon like this, you can have a force upwards and a force downwards, and as long as this gravitational force is roughly the same, you know, it, it's going to heck and fly. If it's the exact same force, it's going to stand still midair. It floats because it's lower density than everything around. The same kind of logic when something flows on the water. Imagine you hanging a rock in a rope underneath a boat. That's basically the same philosophy as, as you know, a, uh, a balloon, only that one happens in air and one in water. It's all about having some kind of matter around it that has a higher density than whatever is inside of this one. So as long as you have a mass that can actually expand this balloon, you know, because, you know, if there's nothing there, it's going to smack down. You're not going to have anything that can float. So as long as you have something that can fill it out, but still have lower density than everything around it, it's going to give you some kind of floaty force. It's, it's kind of nifty. And then the last one, if, if clouds landed on you, you would die because they weigh a lot. I mean, sure, all the air in the atmosphere weigh a lot too, if you combined it all, but that doesn't mean, you know, there is gravity and density and very low density and it's not like a solid object that's gonna smack into your face. I'm not gonna... <laughs> Click Academy done for the day, we're done. <laughs> Keep in mind that weight in general also weighs different depending on what the weight is. For example, 50 pounds of feed is going to weigh different than 50 pounds of concrete. I can easily lift a bag of feed, but I can't lift the concrete. So when it comes to weight... Dense is the word the guy is struggling to recall. Unwieldy might be another. Yeah, this, like, makes it a bit clumsier to carry, which is gonna be more difficult, but it doesn't just weigh more. You changed. <laughs> Bro, you broke my heart. Broke. <laughs> Past tense. Learn your grammaticals. <laughs> Women shouldn't code. Perhaps be influencers or creators instead. It's their natural strength. Coding is a brutal 24-7 job. Uh, probably not. Mutually exclusive with motherhood. After nine months of maternity leave, they come back obsolete and outdated. Elon Musk even says birth rate is falling too much. Based on the 9,000 quote seats and 1,500 likes, I would say this take is not received particularly well. Wouldn't, like, anything where you sit in front of a computer be easier to do? Well, having kids because you can work from different places and be flexible. There are plenty of jobs that are more difficult to do while being, you know, busy with something else as well, because they're much less flexible with physical presence. <laughs> This is so weird. Of course, that makes sense. That explains why the church stopped sentencing people to death somewhere around 100 AD when the New Testament was written. Slash S. <laughs> Show me the source for it instead of a baseless claim. Show me that the church, by religious doctrine, not a government, did what you say they did. Wait, have you seriously never heard of Joan of Arc? Or the witch trials? The church putting people to death of heresy or blasphemy as well documented? It's not some kind of secret. But prove it! Shadows prove the table is curved, and a lamp is 93 million miles away. Don't argue with the science. But it's... You know, scale is... is... is a thing. It's... it, it very much is a thing, but shadows exist, so everything must be round, or... What? And before I know it, he starts crying. And, you okay. Know, and I, I have never seen an adult man cry. Really? Um, I That's... really see my dad cry at my grandma's funeral. You know, it's, just, it's weird.
that's not a healthy standard to set at all. It's okay to cry. What I usually say in life is that it's probably not a good idea to be vulnerable in front of everyone. Because there will be people you meet in the world who don't have your best interest at heart. They can be jealous, it can be like some kind of competitor, or just someone who gets off on, on ruining things for other people. There are nasty people out there, and being aware of that is important without being overly paranoid. But it's always important to have people in your life that you feel you can be vulnerable with. Like a funeral, for example, with your family is, is a perfect place where it's okay to show all your emotions. Like, God, I cry at funerals. It, it's, it's okay. And if you're with your partner, especially, or with a very close friend, you should be able to express your emotions in that way. Having people around you where that is the norm is very important. I feel like it's such a double standard nowadays where it's like men are being told to that they should be more emotional, but then they're also being told that they're weird for crying. I don't know. Just find people around you who are decent people where you are allowed to express your emotions, whether it's positive or negative, and that is something that everyone deserves, no matter who you are. My favorite is when one guy gets a globe and toy airplane and shows that if you fly south of the equator, you'll be inverted. But it doesn't look that way from the plane, so obviously the Earth is flat. <laughs> oh yeah, because gravity would still pull you down from the Earth or something, so you would be upside down or... <laughs> My favorite experiment for the Flat Earth is still the one where someone holds a basketball and they just pour water on it and be like, the water doesn't stay, so how can there be oceans on Earth if it's round? Of course, not understanding that the gravitational force between the floor, which is the Earth, is greater than the gravitational pull from the basketball, so the water is obviously going to just fall off the ball. It's not an isolated experiment, but... <laughs> ball, no water, stick, so Earth flat. Me literally being Spanish. You're not Spanish, you're Mexican, you speak Spanish, just so keep clarifying. I'm Spanish. <laughs> That's not a real country, it's a language. <laughs> if you call yourself an atheist, you have to believe there is a god. Otherwise, you can't call yourself an atheist. And therefore, the word atheist wouldn't exist. Yeah, I can't, can't argue with that, because I don't really know what the point is. Thousands of South Austin residents lost power during the heatwave Saturday, but it wasn't related to the Texas power grid. The power was cut in order to help circuits in the area that were overloaded by high energy use. So it was due to the power grid. No, it was, it was the pieces of the power grid, not about the power grid. The population didn't get COVID. It was people that got COVID. See? In case you were not sure, biology for dummies, mm, female and male. One, if you think outlets are biology, you don't know shit about biology. Two, if you think all plugs, sockets and jacks are exclusive male or female, you don't know shit about electronics either. Look at all them babies. <laughs> like, and also like a nickname for sockets isn't, <laughs> it isn't like a biological fact. <laughs> I'm not sure Disney fully understands what a pirate is. A good pirate never takes another person's property. Okay, so they just they just sail around and that's it. <laughs> you need to make the profits somehow, Timmy. Even Batman listens to his mom. That's pretty sad. You wouldn't do this to your sandwich. Why would you do it to your family? First off, I would absolutely do this to my sandwich. Secondly, I would absolutely do this to my family. What are you talking about? You must be British. <laughs> the Eiffel Tower was first built in Vegas. The French then later copied and replicated the original Eiffel Tower in Vegas. <laughs> Sauce. <laughs> Mom, what is a conspiracy theorist? Somebody who figures out the truth before most people, dear. Well, uh, to be fair, in some cases, conspiracies have a little bit of weight when it's like, you know, obvious shady things happening. But like, most of the time it's, you know, saying that gravity isn't real isn't like figuring something out before other people. <laughs> it's just like blatantly ignoring a few hundred years of science and, and saying, Haha, uh, flat. Kate Bush wrote Running Up That Hill, produced Running Up the Hill, and owns 100% of its songwriting, publishing, and licensing rights. Basically, Kate Bush is currently making around 250 pounds a week from one song she released in 1985. That's a pretty sweet deal, not gonna lie. One, she's not earning that much from it, you're confusing turnover with profit. Two, as she did the work 37 years ago, you would have to adjust the amount accordingly. It would be worth less than half the current amount of income. And three, fair ball to her. Wait, what? No, you- what do you mean adjusted? No, a royalty check is still gonna be a royalty check. What are you talking about? Norway! Freaking racist with his confederate flag! Oh, disgusting Nor Norwegians should be ashamed! <laughs> ah, outrageous. Jesus was an American. But that actually showed me a, a hypothesis that Jesus 
went to America after all his other Gajama gyms. And I just picture, you know, because because it wasn't really colonized, you know, a, a couple of thousand years ago. So I just imagine Jesus. Because I think, no, I don't think even Vikings made it there at that point. That's a bit of a shame. But I was just thinking, like, Jesus vibing with, like, the native population and some Vikings having mead around the fireplace. That would be really cool. That, that wouldn't be the case either, sadly. My my mental image was premature. But anyway, this is, this is weird. <laughs> If only Netflix had done the same for adult movies, their office would be filled with thank you letters, 80% of which were written by deaf people. And how would they write letters if they are deaf? Deaf people aren't blind, they can still write. <laughs> you are wrong. My eyes are deaf. I am a man, I'm not trans, I'm not cis, or whatever delusional psychotic term is used to define being heterosexual. <laughs> I hate this, but I don't understand it. You're a slave if you have a job. Anymore. Yeah. Some slaves are better paid than others. Okay. But most people are slaves. If the people in charge of the world can print unlimited amounts of said thing, and you'll give up your life for certain amounts of said thing, then they own you. They control you. Oh, you need $100 to do this. Print. It doesn't matter. It's not real. So who cares? Oh, all right. All right. Here we, here we go. <laughs> Okay, there are plenty of, like, crappy things about the economy and, you know, traps you can fall into or, you know, monopoly markets or whatever it might be. Like, an economical system isn't perfect. But to claim that you can just print money to solve economical issues literally ignores the concept of inflation. You know, money only represents a value. Money doesn't hold a value in itself. Money has value because we collectively believe it does, because it represents something. It's a universal currency for trade, basically. But if you print more and more money, the value of what we produce is still going to be the same. So you will just have less value per money, hence a very basic breakdown of inflation. So, sure, you could print $100 just now, but if you kept doing that, you know, money would essentially just very quickly become worthless. Y'all not ready for this conversation. Look at this mountain and stump. Look at this mountain and stump. And this mountain and stump. You see what I'm getting at here, Courtney? Mountains were once trees. Ooh, shapes can be similar without being related to each other. Who would have thunk it? I mean, there is a part of the human mind that just finds things it thinks look alike without it having anything to do with each other. But but a far more interesting side rant would be to just say, like, if the universe is infinite, and you say that there is a finite the way that matter can align itself, there is going to be repetitions in the universe, things that look exactly the same. So theoretically, if the universe is infinite, if you just kept traveling and looking, you would eventually find a carbon copy of yourself. You would find a copy of yourself with blue skin, and uh, so on. And so forth. It's kind of a cool uh, like thought process. A little bit, uh, you know, above uh, above whatever, whatever tree stuff this is supposed to be, but still a fun thought. It's very nice. I would recommend checking out a book that kind of talks a bit about this called Our Mathematical Universe. It talks about parallel universes on different levels, and the first level of parallel universe is essentially that. It's basically within our own universal plane, but because it's infinite, at least theoretically, um, that means something is gonna, you know, um, repeat itself at some point, so there's a parallel Earth out there somewhere. Um, kind of cool, cool thought, the stuffy, nice stuff. Almost without exception. Every single person I know who was chronically ill and now healthy began healing when they stopped listening to allopathic doctors. The healthiest people I know are on zero pharmaceuticals, rarely ever see doctors and subscribe to natural health. Oh gee, the least sick people you, you hear don't go to the hospital regularly because they're not sick and not in need of care. <laughs> who would have thunk it? This is like the biggest, like, I don't know, sample bias you can imagine. <laughs> And also press X to doubt all the other stuff you said. There is no such thing as viruses. We have been lied to our entire lives. Where's the science behind this? Where did you hear this? I've been hearing it from multiple virologists. Well, why would they even exist then in the first place? That's the next question. Things that make you go, hmm, if they really are in zero gravity environment, why aren't their heads aligned with their bodies? Zero gravity means that your muscles no longer work. Magnet, do this to cut your power bill. A secret way to cut electricity bill, take Canada by storm. Woo, if you put this in your outlet, you will be dead, and then you can't pay electrical bills. Did you know, doesn't eat rice, eats rice. Rice is so important in Japanese society that's been called the essence of the culture. It may help you lose weight because rice is low in fat and sodium and high in fiber. It can be a great addition to your weight loss diets. But rice isn't just... Oh my god, there are, there are plenty of dietary tips if you want to lose weight or something. Or if you want to, you know, if you're working out and want to get more ripped, you can reduce the amount of carbs in your diet, for example. There are plenty of ways to go about this that aren't magical Facebook memes. 
Tinnitus is parasites. Garlic cloves eat three cloves a day for a week in organic beer or wild garlic tinnitus. Take about three tablespoons a day for a week until it goes. Also get your ears suctioned after all the dead parasites out. There was a man on here that I cured of this. 5G also responsible had similar symptoms after they sprayed the skies. Resonance. What a... It's... <laughs> Okay. Simple way to cut your power bill. What is with all these ads, man? It's for gas tanks, too. Is it put Coca-Cola in your gas tank and your engine will be much better apart from that not? You need to prepare for December 2024. Oh, it's gonna be a lit Christmas. Because December 2024. We will be exiting a seven year transitionary period that started in 2017. This is because of in what? 2017, Earth entered what's called a galactic current sheet in the Milky Way solar system. So it's traveling through this energetic currency sheet. This currency sheet, that's what it's called, uh -huh. contains dust, Source. plasma, blah, 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 and cosmic blah, blah. radiation. Oh, and that just is toss out all the, the buzzwords you know. That Earth. means it's science. Cosmic rays, or energy rays, also known as light codes, that's uh -huh. what a lot of channelers call them. Light, okay. They are mutating and affecting our DNA. Oh, oh, DNA now too. Plasma DNA. Radiation. <laughs> cosmic energies, and you do this by finding certain locations where the ley lines meet to meditate and pray together to reach heart resonance. You will connect okay, to Okay, these... okay, let me just pause this real quick. If, you know, you, you travel through space pretty quickly. If you're claiming that there's lines in some way, you wouldn't be able to find those connecting points. It would just be like, swoosh, really, really heckin' fast, you know? It, it's not like it's stationary in some kind of fantasy game or whatever you're comparing it to. Ascension energies, which will cause you to become more telepathic, more intuitive. Mm, more telepathic, more so we're already kind of telepathic. Heart That's pretty cool. Heart-centered? We're just moving your organs? What does it mean? Truth. And that is what they are most afraid of. Imagine what would happen to all the corrupt systems if everyone just came together in truth okay. and harmony, they would automatically collapse. They don't want this to happen. And in December of 2024, that is when all of these ley lines will vibrate in harmony ah, all vibrations. year round. That oh. is powerful. Yeah. That means it's it's plasma DNA vibrations and get into heart resonance. People oh, heart resonance. Together oh, why didn't you say so right away? Oh, soul signature. All right, so, so every soul has an IP address now. That's basically what it means. Working with your frequency start. Holy, how many buzzwords can you squeeze into two minutes? That's wild. We have plasma vibration spaces that align, and it's going to be Christmas, and then we can be telepathic, and corrupt governments are going to fall apart. And this means that your heart gets centered, and then... And, 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 and <laughs> Well, Lottie's losses and lorsers, I, I do hope you had an amazing day and that your day keeps being amazing because you deserve it. And I will see you in the very near future. Take care, you wonderful bean. Mwah.